Uh, the low carb ones. Or Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and I'm here with Adam today. We're doing a grocery haul. Um, we needed groceries actually. It's been a while. Like we keep just putting it off every day and we finally went. We went to two places. So first we went to Sam's Club and then we ended at Meijer where we got a majority of the things and so we're just gonna be going through them today. So if you guys find this video helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel and let's start with Sam's Club. So I talk about it all the time, but Sam's Club is my favorite place to get produce. It's the best prices. I honestly have the best luck with the produce. It lasts the longest. And yeah, I just prefer to go to Sam's Club for it. So my favorite thing to get, these bags of peppers. I actually have another bag already stuck in the fridge, but I bought two of them. So it's like six bucks for six peppers, and they're always just so good. So good to have on hand when I want to make my veggie mix, because I put my veggie mix in pretty much everything. So I'm always using these peppers. Then I like to also buy this giant bag of Honeycrisp apples every single time. They have a bunch of different types of apples, but Honeycrisp are my favorite. So I always grab this, and I always keep them in the fridge because cold apples are just so much better. Okay, then Adam needed cuties for lunch. So he brings these to work every day. Um, I really never eat these, sometimes for breakfast, but it's mostly Adam who goes through the whole bag of these. So had to get these. And then we usually also have the best luck with their berries as well. So I like that they have the big container of blueberries and then a big container of blackberries. These I always like to get in bulk. So grab these and I use these for my yogurts or just berries with Cool Whip as like a sweet treat. And I just always have berries on hand. This stuff is Adam's favorite. I talk about it all the time. We buy one of these every time we go to Sam's. We actually have one open in the fridge, but he goes through it so quickly that we just got this because it lasts. So this is two smart points for two tablespoons or 60 calories. And again, this is something that he likes to put on even like tortillas and put it in the air fryer, have with tortilla chips or pretzels. We like to put it on cucumber. Like there's so many things you can do with it and it's really good. And I'm not huge on buffalo flavored stuff, but this, this is good. Then I got this last time. This is ground chicken and I made chicken burgers and they were so good. So again, when I make those, I just put egg, panko, and then some seasoning, but yeah, this is what I get. This is four points for four ounces or 160 calories, but I'll just calculate it when I actually make the burgers and see how many burgers I get out of it because it is two and three quarters pound of ground chicken. And yeah, so I'll be making burgers with that. Then Adam likes their lunch meat the most. So this is just their honey roasted turkey breast. You've been getting this one every time. No, you used to get the buffalo one a lot. I, I switch off. I've gotten that the last two times. It's really good. Yeah, so he likes their buffalo chicken lunch meat as well, but he's been getting this one more recently. Then bananas. I like to get these from Sam's. They're usually pretty green like this, so we won't be able to use them for the next few days and we're out, but that's fine. <laughs> anyway, so we use bananas mainly for... Actually, so we just had like four that were really, really ripe, and we just cut those up and we froze those, and they're perfect for protein shakes. But these he just takes to work or I use for like big oats or stuff like that. So I had to get some shrimp and I got this last time. I like that it's a big resealable bag because I just leave it in my freezer and then I'm able to just like grab and cook when I want some. So like when I make like a poke bowl or something, I can just grab the amount I want. Even though when we do grill it up, it's still really good reheated the next day even even though it is already cooked but anyway that's just a good zero point food to have on hand then these i don't know if i've talked about these on my channel before i can't remember but these are a chick-fil-a knockoff these taste like chick-fil-a nuggets they are so good like i have been craving them since we had them in the freezer and like started eating them again recently and i can't stop thinking about them like i always crave them they're so good so these are four smart points for four pieces or 76 grams uh on blue or they're 150 calories so yeah we just toss these in the air fryer to heat them up and they're so good i've been actually using them on breakfast burritos lately and it's really good that way but even just in dipping sauce. I need to find a way to get a lower point Chick-fil-A sauce. I know there's one you can buy. I would need to find it. We actually looked for it today at Meyer and I couldn't find it, so love these. Okay, so then we like pretzel crisps. I like to get the big bag of the original kind at Sam's Club. So for 11 crackers, it's three smart points or 110 calories. And these are just, you can do anything with these. Mainly I use them to dip in like that buffalo dip I showed you or just like hummus or stuff like that but they're really good too like i like to make tuna and put it on them or like lunch meat sometimes or cheese i don't know there's so many different things you can do with these and that's why i like getting just the plain ones they have some really good flavors as well but i like these 
I always love the spice section at Sam's because they have so many good brands and just seasonings. I don't know why. They always just have such a good variety. So I love Weber seasonings, if you guys don't know. And I found this one I've never seen before. We really like their flavor bomb burger, so I thought gourmet burger would be good as well. I'm always looking for new burger seasonings to make those like chicken burgers I mentioned or turkey burgers. So this is a new one we're going to try. Every time we go to Sam's Club now, we grab a bag of these because... They're so good. <laughs> I keep talking about them on my channel, but I love these. And so for one ounce of them, it is five smart points um, or 150 calories. I use them as a dessert. I usually have them right after dinner a lot of the times when I want something sweet, but holy cow, portion them out because you will just stand there and eat the whole thing. They are so, so good. And they're sweet potato puffs. They like have cinnamon sugar on them. My new favorite sweet treat. So if you can find these, I've only been able to find the cinnamon ones at Sam's Club. Okay, and then I also grab these every time. I like getting the big jar of artichoke hearts. They're zero smart points, and they're just so easy to throw into a bowl or a wrap or a pasta dish. So love having these on hand. These are some of Adam's favorites. So good to grab these. Okay, so I like to get these from Sam's Club. They always have like the three packs, so there's always three flavors. They have like the bold flavors, or they have just the plain ones as well, which is like teriyaki, plain, and I don't remember the other one. But this one has peppered jalapeno and sweet and hot. So Adam likes that, of course. Uh, they're three smart points for a pack. We really like these and jerky in general because it's so high in protein and it is a filling snack. It's just really flavorful and satisfying so we like to have these on hand all the time these are really easy for adam to take to work okay so that wraps up sam's club now we're gonna go ahead and get started with meyer okay so moving on to meyer which i had to go to the bathroom so bad when we first walked in so their bathrooms are right in the entrance i went and i'm sitting in there and i knew this was going to happen if someone walked in the door was so like janky that it was like falling off but it was still locked but like barely hanging there and i heard someone walk in second she walked in she walked into my stall so someone walked in on me going to the bathroom so that was fun but i knew it was gonna happen so it was just like the funniest thing and it just started off our meyer trip but someone got to walk in on me going to the bathroom but like i said i knew it was coming so i just sat there and kind of waited for it to happen because i knew that if someone walked in they were gonna think that door was open and it wasn't i and it was too far for me to hold closed anyway though that was my fun meyer experience but made it better because as we were walking one of the first things i saw was this so I have my new mug for Halloween. That is seriously terrifying. It's like staring. That's creepy. I love it. I'm so excited. So this is my new mug because I needed a new coffee mug for my hot coffee. I usually drink iced coffee and I just don't have that many cute mugs for hot coffee. So not that this is cute. cute. <laughs> no, but I did have to get a cute one. I did have to grab this one because I needed one cute one. I thought that was cute. So, but I needed the Halloween one as well. Starting with the produce from Meyer. Okay, first of all, too, really quick. I found out that if you weigh out your produce, there's a little thing. I thought it was just a scale originally, but it prints out the labels. So I was able to print out the labels for all of these before we even went to get them rung up. And then it just made it that much easier, which I'm going to do that if I self check out too. So cool. But anyway, I got some grapes. I haven't gotten these in a while, but they looked really good. And they're really like firm, which is how we like them crispy or like crunchy. So these are really good. And I just love to have these as like a side with breakfast or lunch. Um, or sometimes like as a dessert with some whipped cream or something like that. Grapes are always a good snack to have on hand, a good fruit. Then I needed strawberries. And like I said, the Sam's Club one was like really big and expensive. And I just, we don't usually go through strawberries as fast as we go through the other berries. So I just got a small thing of strawberries because I still wanted some of those in my yogurt. We needed shredded carrots just for like stir fry or poke bowls. Same with snap peas. That's a really good vegetable to toss into our stir fry that we like. I grabbed a bag of these potatoes. I really like these Boomer Gold ones. Um, they're like really creamy. And so these are so good on the grill. And that's pretty much the main way we've been making them. Or otherwise they're really good in the air fryer. But I always grab a bag of these. We needed some romaine, again, for bowls, or Adam uses it every day on his sandwiches for lunch. I got some asparagus, which I might grill this, actually, because we have really enjoyed it grilled lately. And that's just always good to have a side dish or, like, a side veggie. I needed zucchini to make some more veggie mix, as well as some red onions. So... That's it for the produce that we got at Meijer. I needed some frozen mixed vegetables. This is the stuff that I use for my fried rice when I make it. Um, I've mentioned before, I used to just do peas and carrots, but I actually found that we like it a lot better with the corn and green beans. So I like to just get this whole mixed veggie mix. 
I like to buy the big things of chicken tenderloins from Sam's Club, but I've also noticed the difference in the quality when I buy like just these small, um, it's a lot more expensive to buy these this way, but they really are better quality chicken. I've noticed personally, and I always like to get the chicken tenders. So this is just when I'm not making like a huge batch that I grill up, because I still do that, but we have some leftover cooked in the fridge right now. Uh, this one will probably be more just for like a meal that I make. Then, so I got the ground chicken, but I also wanted to grab a thing of ground turkey, and I think I'm gonna make meatballs with this because we made that a while ago and it was really good and we haven't made it since, and Adam is approving of that right now. So I'm gonna be making meatballs with that. I found these a couple weeks ago, and they're only one smart point each, which is so crazy to me. These are the chicken sausages. So this is uh, mild Italian with bell peppers, and then I also got this spinach and chicken garlic seasoned one. So like I said, both of these are one smart point each or 80 calories, and these are just so convenient to have for breakfast. Sometimes I get sick of having like turkey bacon, turkey sausage, whatever. These are something that's actually really different and flavorful, but also for bowls. I love to put these in bowls, but I also like to use them. Recently, I have found like there are sometimes where I'm just working on something and I don't want to eat a meal or make a meal or whatever. I will take one of these and wrap it in a tortilla with like a little bit of light mozzarella or something and throw it in the air fryer for a little bit. It is so good and it's like three points. And so that's been a really quick and easy snack for me. I actually bought these last time and Adam didn't even get to try them because I ate all five of them. <laughs> Not all at once, but I ate all five of them because they were just so good and I kept going back and eating them. But then we always get some turkey pepperoni. We eat this a lot uh, just as like a snack. I go to the fridge and snack on it a lot, but I also do the same kind of thing where I take a low carb tortilla, some light mozzarella and some pepperoni and throw it in the air fryer. And it's just such a quick and easy delicious snack like it actually feels it feels like more satisfying than if I just snacked on chips or something so I love to make those and there's 70 calories for 17 slices or two points uh, I usually use the one point serving though okay so I have had the worst luck with finding my favorite yogurt lately I haven't been able to find the vanilla or the toasted coconut which is so weird so I finally just decided to get because I guess I could try a different brand but I just really like this brand I like that these are two points each uh, so I got the blueberry flavor because most of the time I'm using it with berries blueberries blackberries raspberries strawberries and then some granola so I figure this can work until I can find my normal yogurt and then because I've been craving my apple dip but I don't want to make that with this but then I also found this, so I just grabbed one of them to try. They had a pumpkin pie version, which I didn't even scan this. And this is two smart points on the blue or 80 calories. So I'll see how that is. So then we haven't made it to Trader Joe's in a while. We need to make a trip out there because we're out of our light mozzarella. So I just grabbed regular mozzarella, which is fine. It's three smart points for the serving instead of two or 80 calories. But this is just something good to have on hand because I'm going to need it for some recipes. And then I also needed some feta cheese, which is mainly for my Greek bowls or any type of like Greek recipe I'm making. But again, another thing that we just always have on hand and I needed more of it. That's three smart points for the serving, which I don't usually use a three smart point serving. I usually weigh out one smart point worth uh, for my bowls and stuff. But the three smart point serving is 70 calories. Then someone had mentioned this before and I tried it and I have really enjoyed it. So I needed more. This is the Meyer brand tzatziki made with Greek yogurt. It's actually zero points for two tablespoons or... 15 calories for two tablespoons. So this is a good option. It doesn't really taste like it's like some healthy dip either because I mix it in my bowls and it just makes it really creamy with the rice and stuff like that. So I really enjoy that dip and it's really low point. We needed some laughing cow. So I just got light laughing cow. We've, I haven't found many of the different flavors lately. Um, we used to always get the pepper jack and we haven't gotten it in a while. So I might get that next time. But again, this is just something that we use to spread on our wraps all the time. Um, and that's mainly what we use those for. This dip I had to get again because we recently got it and it was so good. So this one is made with Greek yogurt actually. It's a spinach and Parmesan dip. Holy cow, this stuff is so good on two ingredient dough as a pizza bake. I actually made it for myself. Adam was out of town and so I had to get more so that I have to remake it for him because it was one of the best dishes ever. And it's actually in my ebook, the recipe where I use this. So if you can find this specific brand, it is so good. It's two smart points for two tablespoons or 50 calories and it's just so good. Then this is my favorite black bean hummus. Another one that I haven't found in a while. So I'm glad to have gotten more of this. This is something that I use for my wraps and bowls, but mainly wraps with a laughing cow. I talk about this stuff all the time. The Lantana brand, it's one smart point for two tablespoons or 50 calories, and it's just good. It's got a little kick to it, but super flavorful. Then usually we use almond milk for our recipes and for stuff like that, but 
recently I tried the cashew milk that Silk has and this stuff is good. We actually found that we prefer it a lot more. Um, it's 25 calories for the serving of a cup or one point on blue, but it just doesn't have as strong of like the almond nutty taste and it's a little bit like creamier. I don't know how to explain. It's just, it's really good. So I highly recommend trying the cashew milk if that's something, if maybe you don't like almond milk that much and you're looking for a dairy substitute or something. We love this and I always just get the unsweetened one. Okay, I needed some more Bolt House, so I always get the ranch. This is the one I use the most. Um, it's 45 calories or two smart points for two tablespoons. And then this one is also another one of my favorites, and I wanted to get this because I got that chicken from Sam's Club. This is their honey mustard. Uh, it's 40 calories or two smart points for two tablespoons, and this is just so good to dip chicken in. I love the honey mustard one. I also like to put it on wraps with chicken and like shredded lettuce and cheese, but both of these are just staples that we always have in the fridge, so needed more of those. Then Adam's always needing breakfast sandwiches for work. So these are the ones you usually get, right? Yep. These are the ones he always gets. They haven't had them at Sam's Club recently, so we just got the smaller box. Um, it's seven smart points for one of the sandwiches or 270 calories. And I've mentioned before, he just brings them for work. Uh, they're just really convenient for him. He can add hot sauce or add whatever he wants to it. Yeah, that's just a really convenient thing for him to bring to work. So he got these to try. These are turkey sausage and veggie breakfast burritos. And these ones are eight smart points for one burrito or 300 calories. Um, and again, it's just something he can bring to work. Okay, I feel like we always look crazy with how many tortillas we buy, but we go through them. So... These are the brands that are my three favorite that I always mention in every video, but we have the La Banderita carb counter. These are one smart point each or 45 calories. These ones I like to use to make like quesadillas or like any sort of like chicken enchilada bake or stuff like that. Those are probably the most similar to flour tortillas out of the ones we've tried. Tomorrow, they have so many different flavors that I really enjoy and these air fry so well. And so this, this one specifically, I love to make breakfast burritos out of. Um, but they also have a large sourdough that I really enjoy, as well as their smaller ones are all really good. And then the large extreme wellness wrap, which we still have some of the smaller ones, but these, I just love to make a giant burrito and air fry it. I love how these turn out air fried, and that's pretty much what we mainly use those for. The Everything Bagel tomorrow, these are two smart points for one or 80 calories. And same with these large extreme wellness wraps, these are two smart points for one of them or 80 calories. Okay, then I needed more salted caramel quest. I've been having this a lot more now that I have the vanilla collagen. I really enjoy it with the salted caramel. So I've been having that with my shots of espresso for my protein coffee. But Premier recently released this new flavor. This is the Cake Batter Delight. This is two smart points or 160 calories. So similar to all their other ones. Let's try it. Should we just crack it yeah. It's going to be warm, which I guess they always are. But <laughs> we're just going to try it now because I honestly, I've been so excited to try these. And I don't know how it's going to go as a protein coffee, though, because I put my three or two to three shots of espresso in it. I don't know if that's going to go with birthday cake. Oh, I don't. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Tastes like straight birthday cake. Tastes player. like a liquefied birthday cake. It's not bad, actually. It's good. I like it. I, that actually might be good <laughs> in a coffee. Took me, it took me kind of surprised. I honestly, because I, I was expecting to not like it, honestly. Oh, really? Even though I love birthday cake flavored things, but sometimes it just has that like They're candle like, taste or like... like fake taste, yeah. That's good. I might toss it in my coffee. It's really not bad. It's good. I, I like it. It almost tastes like cereal <laughs> milk that had like, yeah, like birthday lucky, cake in it yeah, or something. Yeah, like lucky Charms. Okay, we need to try that as a coffee. Honestly, I'm impressed though. I, it's not as bad as I thought. It's kind of a weird taste. I don't know how it'll go with coffee, but... Anyway, so then... I got these two. These are what I use to marinate chicken. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using them on this, but this was a new one I haven't seen. This is Brazilian Steakhouse, and that just sounded good. And then this one's our favorite flavor so far. This is the mesquite, and it's just like a very basic barbecue-y mesquite flavor. So then Adam likes these for lunch. I show them every time. These are the no sugar added apple sauces, and today he picked out cherry and blueberry. So these are 50 calories for the container or zero smart points on the blue plan. And he loves to take these for work. They're just a really good option for him to grab. So so then we grabbed some bonza. I have a meal that I plan on making this. I wanted the ziti, so that's why I got this. But then we also grabbed a bag of this carbonata. This stuff is so good, and you can have a lot of it for a pretty low point. It's 170 calories for a fifth of the container, which usually when we make it, we divide it into like, do we do six or do we do four? 
No, we did four. I want to say we divide it into like four servings. So it's a little bit more than 170 calories for the serving we do. Okay, so it's four smart points for the serving or 170 calories, but I don't know. It just depends on what serving you actually have with it. The serving is five points, and again, like with the carbonata, it just depends on what serving you divide it into. Sometimes I switch it up depending on if we're having like a full pasta meal or if it's like a side. It just depends. Then I needed some more canned mushrooms just for a recipe. I needed more French style green beans, and I like to just get these less sodium if I can. And then some diced tomatoes. So I grabbed the fire roasted ones as well as just the no salt added. And those are just going to be for recipes. Um, sometimes like Mexican dishes I make or chili. We're going to be making chili soon. Adam tried this last time and this is like one of his new favorite hot sauces now. So this is zero points for the serving he uses. It's zero calories. Just a good hot sauce. Okay, so I love this brand's street taco, the red sauce, like the Roja sauce. This is their cilantro lime version. So I was excited. I've never seen this one. Uh, it's 10 calories for a tablespoon or zero smart points on blue. Uh, it says it's mild, so we'll see how spicy it is, but this is something that's just good to put on tacos or burritos or in bowls, and I'm always looking for new sauces, so I'm excited to try this. Okay, so then the last stuff is just like snacky stuff. We needed some more granola for my yogurt bowls, so this is just the peanut butter crunch Kashi Go. I really only use one to two smart points, so I don't know the calories on that, but I usually just weigh it out on my food scale, uh, and that's the perfect amount for yogurt. Then these I grab every time I go to the store. These are my favorite of the Fiber One uh, 70 calorie brownies. These are the chocolate chip ones. They're two smart points for one of them. Then Adam loves rice cakes. And so these are like a good sweet treat for him. These are the caramel ones. It's two smart points for one or 50 calories. And he likes to sometimes put like PB2 or peanut butter and banana on them or just different toppings. He likes to top them and make like a dessert out of them. So. These are good for him. Also Adam's favorite, these crunchy Kodiak granola bars. These are like the Nature Valley ones. It comes with two and there's seven smart points for both of them or 210 calories. And that's just a convenient thing for him to bring to work that's actually really filling. These are one of my favorite sweet snacks at night along with the churros. Like I just love anything cinnamon. So these are pretzel crisps. They are for 10 pretzels is three smart points or hundred calories and they just have like a slight cinnamon sugar coating on them and they're so good. We really like good things and I haven't seen this cheese one before. So this is three cheese. It says Parmesan cheddar and Gouda. And I just love how crunchy these are. So for 17 pieces, it's 130 calories or four smart points. And that'll just be like something I use with dips or just on the side with my sandwiches. I haven't found these in a while. I'm so excited. These are my favorite. I haven't talked about popcorn as much recently, but the sweet chili are the best flavor. I love these. The white cheddar are really good. All of them are really good, but these are good. So 120 calories for 17 chips or four smart points on blue. And again, this is just something that if I want a salty snack, I go for these or just a side with like a sandwich. Same with these. We usually get the big bag from Sam's Club, but we haven't found it recently. So we just got the small one. These are 130 calories for 16 chips or four smart points. And they taste kind of like cauliflower when you open them they definitely smell like cauliflower but they're so good they're so crunchy and airy and salty and i don't know i really enjoy using these for dips and then the last thing which i told adam i shouldn't buy them when i grabbed them because these are going to be a weakness of mine these are salted caramel cashews these are six smart points for a quarter cup or 150 calories and this will be just something that especially on days when I skate I always like to have a little bit of extra like nuts and stuff like that that's what I use my weeklies for because they are higher point but they're so good and I just love cashews and so this would be more of like a sweet treat for me that was a lot of stuff wow that was a lot of stuff my neck hurts <laughs> but okay that wraps up everything for today's haul a lot of the same stuff but also some new stuff so hope you guys find these videos helpful and yeah we'll see you next time thanks for watching